2022 has been a great year for the ship ministry. We saw another vessel added to the fleet, served on three different continents and opened Logos Hope's book fair to the public again as COVID-19 restrictions eased. You know, life is a journey and God teaches us, trains us, shows us new things along the way. It's been a whole year of steps moving forward and, and it's really been fun to watch a ship's company learn that because for many of them, it's kind of a new thing to them. So moving back into the rhythm of the ship. At the beginning of the year in West Africa, we were able to carry out various practical activities such as donating eyeglasses, water purifiers, and helping with building projects. They had a huge impact for me because it was just so touching how welcoming they were. And it just showed me how I want to be when I invite other people. And we came here to help, but actually they gave so much back, maybe even more, and it was just amazing. Finally, Logos Hope made it. It signaled that Africa was open for business, but it also the hope that it brought, bringing people together, but also the support for the local church, that was just marvelous. A real sea education is a gift, and we've got teachers here from all over the world. So I think it was great to share our experiences of different learning styles and techniques, but also we learned a lot from them too. So that was, that was lovely. After five months in the West African region, the ship began her journey to Europe and the Mediterranean, stopping in Las Palmas, Canary Islands for a port visit before her time of annual maintenance. Well, the start of this dry dock, we had about 500 different jobs. One of the major ones was painting the whole ship. So the ship is looking really nice now. Crew on board have done a great job. With certificates reissued, Logos Hope was ready to continue sailing for another year. The next stop as Logos Hope moved to the Mediterranean region was Spain, where the ship sailed up the Guadalquivir River into the heart of Sevilla. The visit was inspirational for us, the local churches and other groups. Look at you now, this afternoon, with your energy, with your, uh, your power. Only we can say thanks for, for coming here. I'm so happy because I can work and also can talk with the local people. It was so nice because all of these people is volunteering people. One important value we hold is to care for the environment. So crew were keen to join local communities in looking after the surroundings in the port we visited. Today uh, we were very lucky because people from the boat went with us and we got around 100 kilograms of rabbits from a pit. We had a lovely time all together. Thank you very much for coming with us. Another highlight of 2022 was when the vessel returned to her home port of registry, Valletta, Malta. Many lasting friendships were made in this port. I really enjoyed your show. You are wonderful. You made me feel happy inside. That's, that's the way I felt. You know, because some people come, it's just a job. You did it out of your heart. And that to me was great. We are so grateful for the work that Randy and Kim Greeby have done over the years as directors of Logos Hope. Through the complex time of the pandemic, they have led the community and ministry with joy, grace, and wisdom. What was really special, best story, is connecting with people and friends and getting off the ship. We went off back to an orphanage that we had visited two other times and to meet the kids that now have grown up. I mean, that's just one little story, but it was very special for Kim and I. We enjoy being on the sailing and sailing with the ship. However, it's the crew and seeing God work in their lives from when they come and when they leave a year or two years later. How God has really encouraged them to step out themselves. So that really has been, I think, our greatest joy. We were also excited to welcome Edward and Heather David, who arrived in Albania to take over leadership of the ship's community. A significant milestone for the ship ministry was the latest addition to the fleet, Do Us Hope. We are deeply grateful to all those who have been praying with us and have participated in seeing this vision become a reality. Work on board has been progressing quickly over recent months and the vessel is expected to launch into ministry in 2023. Fundamentally, I think the impact is going to be in reaching further to seeing cities transformed, to seeing communities reached where we could not reach with just one vessel. I think I'm very excited at this new season that's coming and I think it gives us the opportunity to truly multiply and impact in a much greater way. 
One of the greatest experiences of this year was the possibility of bringing Logos Hope to the Balkan region for the first time. Connecting with the people and to seeing God at work in amazing ways far beyond our expectations. I'm always encouraged to get in touch with new people, so I enjoyed the time together to have fellowship together, to get to know one another and to do some practical work together. We are very proud and excited that you are part of our family and I think we are part of your lives during these days. Thank you very much. Following our time in the Balkan region, Logos Hope's final European port of call was Limassol on the historic island of Cyprus. It was a joy to experience the island nation's culture and meet many of her people. Logos Hope is not just a vessel, it's not just a floating book fair, but it's a project that brings knowledge, hope and of course great values to the citizens of the local communities. It uh, proves that uh, diversity unites people. With visitor numbers and ministry opportunities increasing, we are thrilled to have welcomed more than 280,000 visitors on board and sold over 360,000 literature resources over the course of this year. In my perspective in this last year, I would say an appreciation to our donors, prayer partners, people who've stood with us so for so many years, but also the ship people, the crew and staff, just the attitude of the growth, develop, and that excites me for the new season that is coming up. Yeah, you guys aren't getting paid to do this, you're just doing it out of your own free heart and I really am thankful for that. So, yeah, I just want to say a really big thank you for coming and doing all that you do. I the <laughs> 2023 will be a year of great opportunities to share knowledge, help, and hope with the people of the world. Thank you for your partnership throughout this exciting year. We invite you to continue to journey with us and be a part of all that God will do through Logos Hope and also Doulos Hope in 2023.